Alright guys, I'm just going to make a quick video on the like basics of um, being able to craft items in uh, release 15. The crafting system hasn't changed too much in the last uh, two releases that I'm aware of, but it just can be a little bit um, hard if you're sort of not sure what's going on, where to get stuff and how the whole process works, and maybe you haven't been able to add any new recipes to your uh, recipe book, so you're just really struggling to be able to produce anything or build anything. Um, so I'll show you how to get started in that and then and when you understand the process you'll be able to uh, you know either discover stuff yourself or that you'll um, be able to just get more advanced with that so we're starting off in our head here um, if you guys have been here before you should be familiar with this spot we're right next to the uh, skill trainer and we're gonna go in this building here okay there is three crafting vendors in this uh, area here this uh, apprentice crafter over here has got food recipes uh, and also down the bottom here there is a couple um, stones for weapon enchanting which I'll show you how to do that as well in the video and then over here we've got Harold and uh, Norman so Harold's got some more sort of basic uh, crafting recipes so these generally these recipes um, will uh, like when you have the raw material then you'll turn them directly into one of these items here and then you'll use these items and you'll get more advanced recipes from over here from Norman where you can then go ahead and add multiple things together or use that uh, resource that you produce to craft these other items um, some of the items in here for example I have got some uh, copper ore on me which I'm going to turn into a, um, a short sword, a copper short sword. So I need to grab two recipes from uh, this particular guy, and I need to grab a uh, copper hilt, which would be this item here, and then also a copper short blade. Okay, so I need these two recipes. Um, I already have these, so I'm not going to purchase these now, but what you basically would do is you would purchase these items they'll appear in your inventory over on the right and you'll double click them and then these items will appear in your recipe book so they'll appear on uh, one of the many pages depending on how many that you have so now I've got some recipes um, and I've got some materials so we're going to head over to the crafting area So just out the door here, you're going to take a left straight up past the uh, cow and up here to the crafting area. Now the first thing that we are going to need to do is we are going to need to smelt these ore into ingots. You'll already start with a recipe in your book to craft an iron ingot. And basically we're going to do the same method to craft the copper into the ingot um, but we're basically just going to put ingots in there and you'll need and I'm pretty sure you'll need to discover this one but once you discover it then you can um, it'll be in your recipe book ready to use so if I just double click on the station here what will happen is it'll open up the uh, station box just on the left here it opens up my recipe book in the middle and if I look over what's available it will show me the ingredients that I need to add into the smelting station from my inventory so I can either go ahead for example if we we're going to make the iron ingot which will be should be in your book when you first start I'll need a chunk of coal iron ore four smelting tongs and an ingot mold now if I tried to add uh, for example 41 um, iron ore in here and add the chunk of coal, the smelting tongs and the ingot mold, it's not going to do anything. I need to only add four iron ore at a time and then it will work. Um, okay so let's grab these other items. So I need smelting tongs and I need an ingot mold. We are going to grab those over here at our good friend Emily, the uh, crafting goods merchant. So I'm going to have to grab an ingot mould, wherever they are, where are they, there we go, one ingot mould, 
and you only need one of these. You can hold onto this, keep it in your bank, pull it out when you're about to do crafting. And that's fine. And then I need chunks of coal. Now I'm going to need multiple chunks of coal and it gets used up every time. So I'm just going to grab a chunk now because I can use this at another time as well. That's fine. So I've grabbed 30 coal there. Let's sign that up. And now I'm going to go back over to my smelting station. Double click that. Again, it's opening the station box. I've got my recipe book here. Now I can either. Oh, I forgot to get my. Sorry, excuse me. I'll just grab some smelting tongs. <laughs> smelting tongs. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Smelting tongs done. So I'll get it. Good. Okay, back over to you. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to be making copper ingots. When you first start, you've only got iron ingots, but you'll so you're going to have to manually do the first one so that the recipe will appear, because once you discover recipes, they will be in your book for you to use forever. So I would have to add four copper ore, and if I shift and left click on it, it'll allow me to grab multiples. So I'll grab four chunk of coal again I'm going to hold shift left click and drag and it will pick up this box and then I can go ahead and select one and then I'm going to grab my smelting tongs drag those into the station and I'm going to grab my ingot mold and also put that over there now what's happened is the crafting icon has lit up and I can go ahead and craft and it's going to produce for me one copy ingot now if I take all of those out, another way that I can actually produce it once I have a recipe in my book is I can go ahead and double click on the actual picture of the copper ingot. And as you can see, it has automatically added everything that it needs to make that. And I can go ahead and craft. And this way obviously is a lot more of an efficient way to be smelting and to be building stuff a lot quicker than manually dragging everything over to you to the station box but sometimes it is required depending on what you're doing to drag it over so okay how many okay so I've got five iron uh, ingots there so that's how many I need to make a sword so we'll go ahead and close this down now I'm going to go over to my blacksmithing station which is just here we'll double click on this and we'll have a quick look to see what I actually need to produce this uh, copper, first the copper hilt and the copper short blade. Uh, so I can see my recipe for the copper hilt. I'll need to have two copper ingots, a chunk of coal, which I already have. I need to have a smithing hammer. We'll have a quick look at the copper short sword blade. Um, I need the chunk of coal, which I already have, as it's indicated that the writing is black. Copper ingot three, I already have that. Again, I'm going to need a smelting hammer and also a blade mold. Okay, so we're going to have to go back over and visit our good friend uh, Emily over here. And we need a blade mold. So we'll double click that. We just need one. Again, this is an item that is reusable. I can keep this in my bank, uh, uh, bring it out when I need to. And I also need a smithing hammer. Okay, I'll go ahead and sign for that. There we go. Back over to the blacksmith station. Okay, and because I have the recipes, I don't need to drag stuff. I'm going to double click the picture. Stuff goes into my crafting area. Craft it. Thank you, copper hilts just there. I'll take all of that. Double click on the copper short sword of blade. Added everything to the box the box is lit up, I can go ahead and craft that. Okay, now, I'll just take all this. <coughs> so now I want to actually craft the sword. Now I don't have a recipe to make the full copper hilt, copper short blade sword altogether. What I need to do now is I need to drag, excuse me, not that one. I need to highlight the uh, short sword blade, I drag that in. I highlight the copper hilt, I drag that in. I'm going to grab my chunk of coal 
Because everything needs a chunk of coal, apparently. One coal, wherever it goes. And then I'm going to grab my smithing hammer. Drag it over. And there we go, it's lit up. Now, you can craft um, swords with an iron hilt and a copper blade or, you know, a bronze blade and an iron hilt. You can use any different combination. From what I've seen, generally when you do these, it's the hilt. Whatever you make the hilt in will affect the attributes on the sword. Um, so yeah, it's something to play around with. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but I know that the copper the copper sword is one that adds um, 10 haste to the weapon, which is pretty cool. I really like that. So, um, you know, being able to hit, you know, hit stuff a little bit quicker is is increasing your DPS and obviously going to be uh, better. I prefer it anyway. But there's plenty of other stuff I've seen, like knockback and extra damage and a few different other items. But I'll go ahead and craft this now. Um, and I've produced a short sword of haste. And let's have a look at the quick stats there. So you can see the stats there, 4 to 12 damage, critical 25, strength bonus average, um, and it's got the bonus there, haste, 10% attack speed. And as you can see with my current equipped weapon, I've used a, uh, I've built a copper head for that, um, for that weapon and it gives me the 10 attack speed. Okay, so we've got a uh, awesome, awesome sword now. Any weapon that you make, you can actually enchant it. Um, so what we can do is I've purchased a, uh, a weapon cut ruby, okay, and you take your fully uh, crafted weapon. Now it has to be a crafted weapon, you can't find a weapon. It needs to be one that either someone else has crafted or you've crafted. Um, I then add my uh, weapon cut ruby in there and I need to add my smithing hammer. Now I do not need to add any coal for this, it should highlight, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and hint the craft and then it has added that um, attribute to the sword and if I go ahead and close all of this down I can go ahead and I can equip that sword and you can just have a look at it as, at its uh, awesomeness flaming short sword in the hand and pull that out and there we go, there's a nice uh, flaming nice little flaming sword there so So that's the basics of of the crafting and, and how it works. Um, I did actually sh start off showing the video um, doing some leather making, but I actually forgot to record derping it out. But it's the same in a, it's the same theory. Okay, you would go over and um, uh, you know grab grab a few recipes from uh, from the recipe vendors and see what what stuff you actually need to make it. Um, and then you come over to, you know, you're starting off with whatever, you know, the copper, uh, the sorry, the leather you would, the animal hides, you would head over to the tanning table and you would see, you know, what you need to do to turn that into leather. Uh, if you don't have a recipe to produce leather, go back over to the, to the uh, vendor, the crafting vendor over here and grab the appropriate recipe. Um, and the same would be this one over here is the milling station, so you would again, you would begin to cut the logs that you harvest from trees. Um, tailoring station over there, um, you know, the woodworking station, so you know, carpentry station. So once you've chopped your wood you would, would head over to there and start making making the stuff you've produced. And over here you'd, you know, obviously start using the um, the spools of cotton and stuff that you've produced to start making uh, cloth and then you would come over again probably to the tailoring station and craft the clothes from there. So I hope that this was um, of some use to you. It sort of was a little bit fiddly at first, but once you understand the process of basically having the right tools, um, you know, getting the chunks of salt, the chunks of coal, um, these little items that you need. The only other little tip I'll give you as far as being able to find an item is fat. Some of the items require fat. Some of the like the hard leather, hardened leathers or something like that. You can actually find fat from um, some of the, f from the food vendors, there, there's a vendor up, st uh, standing outside the bank that's selling food, and one of the items, uh, they sell is fat, and that's used in some of the stuff down here. So, yeah, I hope this, uh, you know, helped you out guys, and I hope that if anyone's struggling with the crafting, that this sort of lays down a little bit of the basics and, and how it works, and then you can go from there and, uh, yeah, make some epic gear, because it's, the crafting, 
gear is going to be the best gear available in the game. So having an understanding how how to do that is definitely going to um, help you to really you know enjoy the in depths of uh, what this game is going to offer. Hopefully, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll uh, talk to you next time.